Sci-fi movies have really given us the thirst to live on the moon, and these dreams don't seem too far-fetched when we have an eccentric billionaire who's hell-bent on sending people to space. Elon Musk's SpaceX is soaring to new heights in the aerospace realm, showcasing a remarkable blend of mind-blowing technology and cost-effective solutions. At the heart of this innovation stands the Starship, a marvel of engineering, the ultimate Jarvis in rocketry. Now, Elon Musk has unveiled a bold vision, the creation of Moonbase Alpha, SpaceX's very own lunar outpost. This announcement has sent ripples throughout NASA, signaling SpaceX's intent to carve out its space legacy using a state-of-the-art Starship HLS spacecraft. Starship's Journey to the Moon Starship has been selected by NASA for Artemis missions in 2026, a testament to its capability for carrying humans and heavy cargo on long missions. However, it's still in development. Recently, on its third test flight, Starship demonstrated successful takeoff and stage preparation, albeit with the loss of the booster that propelled it. Despite the setback, valuable insights were gained to enhance its design. Looking ahead, Elon Musk's vision for Starship is ambitious. At a Starbase talk, he hinted at significant improvements in Starship 2 and 3, promising capabilities that surpass the current version. Like Tony Stark destined to end the blip and ensure time travel, Musk is all geared up to make sure creating a lunar outpost becomes a reality. Starship's evolution and SpaceX's Mars vision. SpaceX's Starship isn't just any spacecraft. It's a game changer in space exploration. Let's delve into some fascinating details about this innovative marvel. Starship is designed to transport both crew and cargo across various celestial destinations like Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. It's a super heavy lift launch vehicle comprising two stages, making it the largest and most powerful rocket ever flown by SpaceX as of April 2024. The primary goal of Starship is to slash launch costs significantly, achieved through reusability, increased payload capacity, higher launch frequency, streamlined manufacturing, and adaptability for diverse space missions. Starship's structure includes both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft, each equipped with groundbreaking Raptor engines, the first of their kind to burn liquid methane and oxygen. Their stainless steel composition ensures durability and efficiency in space travel. Starship boasts an impressive payload capacity ranging from 100 to 150 tons in its fully reusable configuration. During launch, the Super Heavy Booster propels the spacecraft, later gracefully slowing down and being caught by mechanical arms upon return to Earth. The Starship spacecraft, after completing its mission, elegantly re-enters the atmosphere and lands propulsively, ready for its next adventure. The ambitious Starship project comes with a price tag of at least $5 billion, reflecting SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration with groundbreaking technologies and strategic funding. In straightforward terms, the current Starship is an impressive 121.3 meters tall and can launch around 40 to 50 tons into low orbit, setting new standards for design and functionality. However, SpaceX isn't stopping there. Expanding capabilities with Starship 2 and Starship 3 The next iterations Starship 2 and Starship 3 are aiming to double and even quadruple these capabilities. Starship 2 will be about 124.4 meters tall and capable of carrying over 100 tons of cargo. Meanwhile, Starship 3 is set to reach 150 meters with a whopping cargo capacity of over 200 tons. These upgrades encompass dimensions, cargo capacities, performance improvements, as well as advancements in aerodynamics and Raptor engines. The Raptor 2 engine, already in use, has shown to be simpler and more reliable than its predecessor. However, the future Raptor 3 is expected to bring even greater efficiency and simplicity in design, contributing to enhanced spacecraft performance. SpaceX's Multi-Planetary Vision Elon Musk's grand vision is to make humanity a multi-planetary species with Mars as the starting point for colonization. 
Starship 3 plays a crucial role in this plan, providing the necessary infrastructure for regular missions to Mars, capitalizing on optimal launch windows every 26 months when Earth and Mars align favorably. Establishing Moon Base Alpha is pivotal for advancing space exploration, paving the way for manned Mars missions. It also solidifies SpaceX's position as a leader in rocket tech and space habitat innovation. While the prospects are thrilling, challenges abound. Creating a habitable moon environment poses technical hurdles like life support and radiation protection. Financially, the project demands substantial investment, possibly through partnerships with NASA and other space agencies. A permanent moon base is strategically vital, boosting scientific advancements and serving as a launch site for deeper space missions. Its global impact and prestige cannot be understated. Moon Base Alpha SpaceX envisions its lunar base as a horizontal structure positioned at the moon's south pole perched atop Shackleton Crater's rim. The base's protection against radiation and micrometeorites is ensured by a 5-meter thick layer of lunar regolith covering most of it, leaving only the airlocks and nose hatch exposed. One of the airlocks will serve as an observation deck with a permanent view of Earth, while expansion possibilities will be available through the nose hatch. Inside, the base features three levels extending the entire length of the structure, housing former methane and oxygen tanks from the Starship HLS spacecraft. SpaceX plans to utilize two variants of Starships for this purpose. The first variant, upon landing on the moon, will detach the cargo section using a mobile crane. This cargo section, covered with lunar regolite for protection, will be repurposed for various uses, including storage tank farms. The second variant, designed as a tanker, will refuel depots in Earth orbit with essential volatiles like hydrogen, methane, nitrogen and water crucial for lunar operations. These resources support agriculture, industry and fuel for return trips to Earth. Once integrated into lunar facilities, surplus starships are used for habitat construction, lunar farms and other infrastructure components. Elon Musk's Ambition Elon Musk shared plans for Moon Base Alpha, a lunar outpost using Starship HLS for ongoing lunar activities. The name pays homage to a 1970s sci-fi series hinting at SpaceX's futuristic ambitions. While specific details like timelines and capabilities of upcoming Starship versions remain undisclosed, Moon Base Alpha is envisioned as a pivotal hub for SpaceX's lunar endeavors, setting the stage for missions beyond Earth. The proposed lunar base, set atop Shackleton Crater's sunlit rim, is strategically positioned for solar power, crucial for sustained energy supply. Central to this vision is a horizontal Starship HLS, not just a spacecraft, but a livable habitat and mission hub for lunar explorations. SpaceX's Starship, an innovative rocket in development, plays a pivotal role here. Its capacity for large payloads and potential for reuse promise to slash costs associated with lunar missions, making exploration more feasible. SpaceX plans to use solar regolith as a protective shield, safeguarding the base from radiation and micrometeorites. This not only enhances astronaut safety, but also leverages local resources, reducing reliance on Earth-bound supplies. Inside the moon base, three levels will house research facilities, living spaces and storage, transforming the Starship from a mere vehicle into a functional and habitable environment for extended lunar stays. SpaceX's Mars aspiration and in-orbit booster transfer. Musk's focus extends beyond the moon towards Mars colonization. In his discussion, he highlighted the importance of in-orbit booster transfer for lunar and Martian missions. The docking capability between starships enables refueling and oxidizer transfer critical for venturing beyond Earth's orbit. Challenges and Opportunities in Martian Colonization Musk mentioned that early Martian starships won't return to Earth, with colonists staying on Mars to build self-sustaining communities. This approach raises questions about long-term sustainability and logistical support from Earth, adding layers of complexity to the colonization endeavor. Upcoming Starship Test Flight and Booster Reusability The next Starship test flight, slated for mid-May, 
aims to land the Super Heavy booster in the Gulf of Mexico, a key step in booster reusability. Musk is optimistic about an 80 to 90 percent success rate within the year, marking a significant milestone in SpaceX's quest for cost-effective space travel. Establishing a long-term lunar base not only benefits commercial interests, but also serves as a strategic stepping stone for SpaceX's future ventures, including efficient Mars exploration. This forward-thinking approach aligns with SpaceX's mission to make space exploration more sustainable and accessible. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing space updates.